What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with some Arnold Classic physique updates. As we are now less than 10 weeks out of the second biggest bodybuilding show of the year. So Rafael Brandel is changing pretty damn fast guys. That is a picture perfect front double biceps by him. Rafael has always been one of the most prettiest physiques in the men's open division. He had to wait quite some time to be successful in this league. But people always knew whenever this guy fills up the gaps in his physique. And those gaps weren't like he was missing a body part. He just need to get bigger. He just need more mass overall. And he had to make sure while getting big, while putting on that more mass, his waistline remains the same. And the year 2023 could be the biggest step forward towards achieving that goal. Because he did not compete throughout the year with the plan of gaining as much quality muscle as possible. So the Olympia next year is gonna be just fire. Because do not forget, Rafael was top 10 last year, beating guys like Michael Curzo, Regan Grimes, Tony Burton, Charles Griffin. All these guys I just mentioned here, Brandao was able to beat them all. Except Regan Grimes who did not compete. And these were top 10 this year. So I can wait to see Rafael's finished product in 10 weeks time. And this time with Neil Hill. So I don't think any one of us have Justin Rodriguez in our predictions for the top 5 at this upcoming Arnold Classic. But that is a super impressive look at less than 10 weeks out of the show. Yes, I know the lighting plays a vital role in how good you look. But the part that he has right now, the overall symmetry is looking awesome here. Justin Rodriguez can be considered a veteran now. I believe this guy made his Olympia debut back in 2018. But his best year was 2020 and 2021, where he was able to place as high as top 8 in the world. This statement alone just goes to show you how men's open class has gotten so tough over the years. Especially in the last two years. So Justin who was placing top 8 in the world in 2021. He could not even qualify for the Olympia this year. And he brought a decent look at the Legion Sports. And yet he placed third. So what are your expectations from Justin at this upcoming Arnold? Can he shock the bodybuilding world again? Next up I have Patrick Moore's update for you guys. Who is aiming to return to the stage in 2024. With some major improvements. I'm not gonna lie, as promising as Patrick's future looked in 2019, that year he made his Olympia debut and he was able to crack top 10 at that show. I think we all have been really disappointed with how things went for him afterwards. He has gotten bigger over the years for sure, but the size that isn't still good enough to stand next to the current era mass monsters, who are not only bigger than Patrick, but they are equally classic as well. I still think Patrick has one of the most beautiful physiques in the men's open bodybuilding, but he is just too small now. And that is why this argument came by a few years ago, that he should try switching to classic physique. Which I have to say just isn't possible, because he is just way too big for classic physique. And even now with the increased weight limits, there is just no way Patrick can make the weight cut off. I mean he would probably have to cut off one of his legs to make the weight. So I am hoping to see him back on stage this summer, or an improved look. So let's see what different can he do this time. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.